Hello everyone, much love and blessings to all of you. Thanks to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new, I welcome you. And those of you who are returning, and I thank you, just please make sure you subscribe to the, my channel and turn on the notification. As today's video is around this consciousness that is been brought up to the awareness within the community of light regarding spike protein and menstruation of the woman having side reverse effects or side effects as a result of being around individuals with V. That's all I'm going to refer to. Those who have had <clears throat> their V, they're having this extra menstruation and all kinds of things taking place and also lots of um, themselves are having <coughs> uh, effects. So right now I'm sniffling a little bit and <coughs> a little bit of this and I know I'm purifying, I'm purging, I'm cleansing. And I wanted to really take a moment to address this from a different perspective. From the perspective within the community of light that is choosing to buy into the consciousness that is still fear-based programming. That because others are taking so-called the V, they are having um, this, let's say, symptoms, and you are interacting with it, that vibration. So thus, your menstruation is being thrown off, you're having all kinds of things happening and some pregnant women with their milk being affected and all of that. I really wanted to address this. From a, someone who is a planetary healer, somebody who is a great worker, somebody who has been on the road for many, many years and have had to um, collaborate with my holy blood this holy menstruation and the real purpose of it. Is there a collective purging? Yes. Is there a collective transformation of energy? Yes. Is there a collective cleansing taking place? Yes. Now, holy blood or your menstruation, dear sisters, I want to bring something to your awareness. Years and years and years, going from one point to another, going um, on the land, connecting with the land, working with the land to purify its energy so that I can bring light stream, light codes, neuro activations with the higher dimensional consciousness, high frequency from fifth to twelfth dimensional consciousness. One of the things that my team had always reminded me my holy blood is going to be involved. Many times I've had to give the blood to the land. Or just before I go in, my holy blood would kick in. So then my physical body would be synchronizing with the land and start purging and purifying. This blood is the most powerful transformation that can take place in your body to release what it does not recognize to be of the highest vibration within you and also the consciousness that might be trapped within the other bodies of yours to them physically purge and purified it's one of the most wonderful intelligence within our sacred holy temple however again just like the light community is compromised just like they're giving the power away here's another one spike protein going up some scientists have mentioned that and some of the alter alternative practitioners are jumping on the bandwagon and part of it is they are communicating that i don't want to be around individuals who have gotten the v because i'm gonna have these symptoms but that's part of exactly the ascension of the fear consciousness within the light workers that has to also expand into the light this month of april i had holy breath three times three times and I knew it only because I've been used to it for now eight years there's more transformation taking place so I'm purifying purging more my vessel is a vessel of transformation so within it 
It observes everything within the 70 mile radius and it purges and transforms it. There is no fear in here. There isn't that there's anything wrong with my system. It isn't because individuals got V. Now I got to go in fear and pull myself away and be in this <clears throat> sort of like hole because I don't feel safe. It couldn't be farther from the truth. If anything, thank God is that this vessel is creating such intelligence, such magnificence, such incredible love that it can totally protect me in this day and purify and purge and release, release the consciousness into earth. So it synchronizes with earth. Earth, Gaia knows already what is happening to her children. She's standing up with it. We're synchronizing with it. So anything, it's the most wonderful, wonderful harmony that is taking place. And I have seen so many posts that going from some of my really powerful Starseeds Lightworkers friends that are all super paranoid that, oh my gosh, I started menstruating out of nowhere. I hear all these other people and there's all this spike protein going on. The scientists have said that and it's affecting. No, darling. On the superficial level, it might be that. Step back a little bit. Where are you? Where are you, your connection with Gaia, your connection with Source Light? Are you operating from fear? And that's the fear coming. You can feel it. It's fear. You're devastated. You're thrown around. That's fear consciousness. Are you sitting here? Here today, I'm back on the land. In my holy sacredness, holy blood, ooh, flowing. One full week flowing again. The week before, I had it one week off, and then I had it for 10 days. Again, I had it one week off, and again for another 10 days. I've had it since the end of March. Nothing new because... I've gone through this cycle so many times. Yes, my body is changing also with this mini pauses, the mini pause that I've just entered. However, this intelligence also knows how to balance itself. And when we know what we're dealing with on earth right now is a consciousness, is a consciousness of fear that is here to be transmitted back into light, transmitted back into love through the light and information we are getting, we're not going to give our power to it. I refuse to give my power to any kind of consciousness that's like, okay, the spike protein had taken place like this. No problem. That's just not for me. And I've held a bunch of <laughs> sort of like space for some of my friends that are reaching out. They're devastated. And I'm like, listen, where is God in the middle of this? Where's your connection to source? Where's your connection to your higher self? Can you please check it that before you give all your energy and power to what was posted now? Massive amount of women are now buying into that program as well. I'm not saying that you're not having this. I am experiencing, but I know it's also part of the ascension of purging, purifying things that is not in vibration harmony within the field so that it can purify and it's coming from a place of love not from a place of fear nothing is happening into my body if anything my body is functioning exactly in its best optimal way that it is supposed to function and thank god and my medicine sun trees laying down my acupuncture alkaline water all the wonderful things and I just let it purge let it purge let it purge and not give my power away to anything else other than thank you divine essence for your divine perfection for loving me for creating my vessel in such perfection that it knows how to operate it knows how to purge purify 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 what just doesn't resonate even if it's observing all my other bodies because it's expand, expanded so much, it's not something's wrong. If anything, something's very, very right. Your body is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Release the shit. So I hope this helps. So much love to all of you. And um, again, if it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, toss it out. 
I'm not here to convince you. I'm just here to remind some of my fellow starseed sisters and brothers, but particularly sisters, to remember that this galactic vessel, this vessel from source light that has totally been planted here is to be integrated. We are coming through all the bodies purging, purifying, so the physical vessel can fully stand in its light. And this too is part of it. Because it's observing, it's releasing, it's observing, it's detoxing, it's ob observing, it's purging, and it has to go back to earth. For so many of you know, years that I ran the goddess circles, at Red Tent Goddess Circle, this was a huge topic. Give your holy blood back to earth ground the energy, connect with her, stay in that center of it, and enjoy, embrace it. Your holy blood is not here to hurt you, to damage you, to, you know, to torture you. It's for you to honor it so that it can work in harmony with you. Anyway, much love everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful, magical day. I love you all very much.